if you have a spiritual mentor, a, a, spirit, a spiritual godmother, spiritual godfather, uh, spiritual god sister, spiritual god brother, watch this video. This video is for you, okay? Hello guys, you're welcome back again to my channel. I am Ezenwanyo Ishimiri. Ezenwanyo Ishimiri, Ezenwanyo Obanji, Ezenwanyo Kibia, Abara Kibia. Don't get it twisted. Ezenwanyo Ezenwanyo Ishimiri Azebo. Ibubo e harumona, Ibubo e kwa rekele muna. Ndambo na ndia gade na mde ekele muna. So, wherever you're watching me from, I say may you remain blessed. Whatever that you lay your hands to, may it be successful. This year, 223 shall be a year of favor shall be a year of testimony shall be a year of liberation shall be a year of breakthrough in every area of your life amen you see so guys i want us to i want to share more things spiritually for you okay if you have somebody that is doing your work please this is what you need to always do please this is what you need to always do to that person all right some of you bring works to us at the end of the day we will do work to you and uh, you start seeing results why some will not see results the truth is that the reason why you don't see results is that it's not every everybody that you do work a spiritualist did, did work to we see sign that doesn't mean that the person doesn't know what she or he is doing okay but it is just it is born to happen but what we are praying just like in a marriage marriage is not always uh sweet excuse me marriage is not always sweet marriage is like it will sweet you and it will pay you but what you will be praying is that let the sweetness supersede the bitterness let the sweetness pass the bitterness inside marriage it is the same thing to spiritual life let the testimony supersede complaints at the end of the day anybody your spirit want to favor they will favor if you like spend spend 100 million doing your spiritual life with spiritual work if the gods and our ancestor wants to liberate you they will liberate you if the gods want to answer your prayer they will answer your prayer it is not in my power to answer your prayer but it is in my power to do your work and communicate with my own spiritual guide and connect with your own spiritual guide and make your work to be successful amen get know this and no peace but some of us when after doing your work you forget the person that did your work you will forget the person that did your work you will not communicate with that person knowing fully well that that your communication wouldn't even put food on that person's table rather it will delay the person's work because if if i am busy and you are communicating with me my mind will be two ways I'll be concentrating on what you are saying and I'll also be trying to do whatsoever that I am doing fast in order to meet up to whatsoever that you want to tell me. Okay? But it is good. The reason why it is good to always check up on that person that you called and know as the spiritual mother or a spiritual father or a spiritual brother and sister. Eh? It is good because anytime you communicate with them, if they are praying where you called, they will remember you in their prayer. If they are praying in the morning, they will remember you in their prayer. Some of us make promises to, to, to deities. Some of us go to uh, herbalists to make promises. Uh, if you bless me, uh, I will, I'm going to buy you 10 cows. I'm going to buy you 15 cows. I'm going to do this. I'm going to build houses for you. I'm going to do that. Uh, may, during that time, maybe you are doing your spiritual work. Do you get? And at the end of the day, you feel like they have done your spiritual work. You neglect that those promises. See, I will use myself as an example into this topic. Okay? I have a lot of deities that I am running around for. They are working for my favor. Sometimes, like this year, I'll be like, I don't want to see any complaint in my work. 
I don't want to see anybody to complain that after doing their work, they did not see results. And if you people grant me this wish, I am going to do this for you. Now, I have made that promise, but I have not forgotten. I will keep reminding them. If I carry my prayer, my, my cola notes or whatsoever, or my white chalk to do the prayer, I will remind them. Remember our topic. Oh. Remember our, uh, our, our agreement. Oh. I don't want to see any complaint in my work this year. I don't want to see any man to complain in, uh, in my work. Rather, let them be giving me testimony. I don't want to see any woman to do this this year about my work. Rather, let the woman be giving me testimony that I'm going to do this at, at the end of the year. Some of you will now make me that is doing this work. I keep reminding my spiritual family, my deities, my water spiritual family, our agreement initially. And they will continue to do what? They will know that ah, my mind is there and their own mind will be there. That is why communication is good. And that is why I always say communicate with your spirit. Those communication simply means prayer. When you are praying to God Almighty, you are communicating with God. Okay? Now, you people will make uh, a promise. Ah, you will forget it. Too. You'll be waiting. You'll be relaxing. I've made promises to confidence altar now. The, the altar will now come and carry. The bulldozer will now come and carry carry, carry the, the work. Remind them. Keep reminding them. Some people do. Some people will go and carry okite for those of those of you that is doing okite. And at the end of the day, you will relax, cross your leg. You've done okite. If you don't feel that okite, it will not work for you. You be you be looking at the okite. Okite will be looking at you. If you don't feed it, it will not work you work for you. The same thing goes to your awele pot. If you don't feed your awele pot, awele pot will not work for you. No this and no peace. So for those of you that is making promise, always remember to remind those altar you've made promises to. Some of you will do work, you will neglect the work. You will neglect the work. You will not call the person that did the work to do what? To feed the work for your own work. Some of you will go to the extent of, okay, keep my, my, my reconnector here. Whenever I am ready, I'll come and carry. Or yeah, keep my water people here. Whenever I am ready, I will come and carry. You will expect that spiritualist to feed her own and or his own and also feed your own. How much did you pay that person? How much did you feed that? How much did you pay that person? That that person will be feeding his or her own and also be feeding your own. How much did you pay that person? Do you have conscience? In will in will be mad. You will be mad. Do you have conscience? Do you have conscience? Truth is bitter. I know a lot of people will hate this message today. Because I'm not saying you should, you should drink red oil in order for you to be successful and become a bilolia. You should drink bottled water so that you will, you, will, you, will, you will remove every obstacles in your life. It will never work like that. I would rather tell you the truth. Face it. Face that truth. Face that truth. Communication matters. You mustn't be friend with anybody that is doing your work. But how on earth will you want somebody to do your work without going close to that person? It's as if when you just kneel down, you uh, somebody asks you, "Oh yeah, go and do fasting and prayer," and you be like, "Ah, do I do I even know how to pray? Do I even know God? Like really, really?" If you don't like any spiritualist, do not take your work to him or do not take your work to her stay on your lane because he just he just like spirits connecting to spirits in order for for them to manifest their power and road will open communicate the more you are communicating the more you are remembering them the more they will remember you in prayer there's one person that have that have that have that have it has been long she chatted me at the end of the day she said confidence so i just want you to to pray for me say i they go for a job interview like it has been long do you get it has been long you don't just wake up and tell that person to pray for you you don't even check up on that person 
most of us, apart from doing a spiritual uh, work, most of us have burden. Most of us have something that is bothering us. No this and no peace. Most of us have something that is eating us up. If not for family, there should be children needs. If not for children needs, there should be house rent. If not for house rent, there's a whole lot. So most of us, are, we're into this together. Communication matters. The more you go close to your spiritual, your spiritual mother, your spiritual father, your spiritual auntie, your brother, your sister, the more they will remember you in their prayer. You see that color not they carry to pray in the morning, they will remember your name. Follow suit with those people that is always checking up on them. Yes. There's one of my friends that used to say, confidence, I don't want to lose my job. Or confidence, I want that I told her, please, you're not losing your job. If you know who you are with, you will know that you're not losing your job. The reason why I encourage her is because she's always on my DM, checking up on me, checking up on me. Whenever you carry your, 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 your collar to pray, you will remember such people. God, this is what is important to this person. Please do not allow the enemies to take it away from him. Do not allow the enemy to take it away from her. And so on and so forth. Learn how to communicate. Learn how to communicate. Communication is good. Learn how to check up on someone that is doing your spiritual work. Not only when you need their, work, their help. They are also humans that lay, li like you. Mm. Thank you so much if you have watched me up to this point. Umen Akuzim Nisi. I'm breathing fast. Thank you, family. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. For now, stay safe and remain blessed. I love you guys. Bye.